Hi, welcome in. The Bible is your deed of inheritance. So now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. Acts 20, verse 32. To open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sin and an inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Acts 26, verse 18. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. Romans 8, verses 16 to 17. In him also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will, that we who first trusted in Christ should be to the praise of his glory. In him you also trusted after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also having believed you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, who is the guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession to the praise of his glory. Ephesians 1 verses 11 to 14. And if you are Christ's, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Galatians 3 verse 29 that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ through the gospel, Ephesians 3, verse 6. For all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him, amen, to the glory of God through us, 2 Corinthians 1, verse 20. But now they desire a better that is a heavenly country. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. Hebrews 11, verse 16. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Matthew 25, verse 34. In my father's house, are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. John 14, verses 2 to 3. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9, by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. 2 Peter 1 verse 4. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Christ. Colossians 3 verses 23 to 24. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt you to inherit the land when the wicked are cut off you shall see it psalm 37 verse 34 